Hello! We've got a lot of questions about how to properly set up reference background images for modeling in Maya. So here's a super quick tutorial that will help you get your modeling off to a great start. Uh, we all know we need good modeling reference, so I'm going to use these photos of the front and side of my slightly misshapen head because uh, I figure it'll be a fun thing to model. Uh, now, there are multiple ways to bring those reference images into Maya, um, but the one we recommend is to use a free image plane. So create free image plane. And this is just an image plane that is disconnected from the camera. And we can just go over here to image name, and we'll get our front. Cool, there's our front. Um, and then I'll make a second one, another free image plane, and we'll grab our side. And then we're just going to rotate this, so I'll hit E key for rotate. And if I hold J before I rotate, it will snap, which is really quite handy. Cool. Okay, so good start. Now, it's really important to ensure our features are all lined up. Um, and we can kind of see this with the grid, but in this case, I tend to turn off the grid. And I like to use a quick plane to verify this, so I'll just I'll pop this on the mid-range of the eyes and from the front I'll get the bottom of the nose and I'll get the bottom of the chin. Okay, let's just hit the four keys so to go to wireframe mode in our viewports and so we can see if these things are lined up and you can see that my eyes are actually off axis here so I'm just going to select a free image plane, zoom in, rotate that just a bit to get it lined up properly. I can make a little adjustment here. Um, make sure mouth is all lined up. Um, I can also slightly scale my free image plane and move it to ensure that everything is nicely lined up. Okay. Cool, so we don't need those planes anymore. We'll just delete them. Um, and then what I tend to do is just group these guys. We'll call them reference. And whenever I'm doing a head, I tend to like to start with a, a useful starting point. So I'm going to go to General Editors, Windows General Editors Content Browser. Um, and in here, if you go into the modeling bipeds, you'll see we got this basic head. We can just double click that guy to bring him in. And what's cool about this head is it's nicely scaled up to real world uh, size. And so what I'll do is I'll just grab my reference and scale it up. and then move it to roughly match my model. And this is really handy because it gives us a good consistent starting point to work from whenever we're building a head. So we'll try and line that up as best as we can. Cool. Um, and now what I'm going to do is go to my perspective view. So I want to use this to see what my final result is going to be. So I'll just turn off image planes in the show menu. And now I have a view, and that's that's where those free image planes become handy because they they're treated as special. And I also don't want to move them anymore, so I'm going to select my my free image planes, grab them all, um, and we'll go over to this display layers. And we've got this last option here: create a new layer and assign selected objects. So I'll pop that in, and we'll call this ref underscore pics. And I'm going to set the display type to reference. And by doing that now, I won't be able to select them. So they're locked. And this is great. Now I can just start modeling away. And I've got a great reference here for what my final is going to look like. And that's it. Happy modeling. Make sure to use the hashtag Maya3D on Twitter so we can see your work. Awesome. Thank you.